Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas. This is Awesome Wood Things. I made a desk for my keyboards out of mostly plywood. It is height adjustable and packed with awesome features. It has the rubber roller blade casters, rolls around like butter. Metal tubing for this upper keyboard. When you play it, there's no give. It's three quarters inch of metal. It's rock solid. It's exactly the way I want it. That's the thing about having a wood shop. You can make things exactly the way you want it. I'll show you how I made it. Check it out. I start by making small pieces of wood out of a large piece of wood. I created these plans, a cut list. I attempted to make this in SketchUp, but this is as far as I can get. I have a Skillshare account. I'm going to brush up on those skills. If you're new to the Awesome Wood Things channel, say hi, Matt, in the comments. I would like to meet you. I use spray adhesive to apply this template to the leg upright. These funny shapes are spaced out at one inch each, and that will allow the table surface to go up and down by exactly one inch increments. The scroll saw makes quick work of this task. I love the scroll saw. It's an amazing tool. You can start to see how this will work. That's a half inch dowel rod. Then I bring some of the pieces to the proper length. If this video is helpful or entertaining, drop a like, please. And now I assemble the feet of the table. I do not permanently attach the vertical upright at this point. I need to do a few more steps and you'll see what's going to happen here in a moment. Glue alone would have been enough. However, I threw some brad nails in this so I can continue to work. Hey, everyone else does that. Brad nails, wet glue, keep working. Here I'm rounding over the corners and I don't get exactly on the line with the bandsaw, but that's okay. I have the disc sander for that. Brings it right to the line. Easy peasy. I drill a large hole at the bottom of the feet to accept the caster insert. And then here is that insert. It has an Allen key but I don't have one that big, so I used a Duresta ice pick. That's the only thing in my shop that was big enough to make this go in. Hey, you have to use what you have, and it worked great. I do a quick test fit here and a height measurement just to make sure my plans are accurate. Yes, looks good. Now, I took three pieces of wood and wrap them around that upright. I just used brad nails. I didn't want the glue to spill in and touch what it wasn't supposed to touch because this has to move. I used blue painter's tape just for the width of the blue painter's tape. That way it slides nice and easy. I thought that was an awesome little hack. Again, just brad nails, no glue. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll have more awesome videos soon. Then I use pocket holes. This will be for the table top. And you can kind of see that the table top is bowed. See how it flexes? And on the corners, there's large gaps. Yeah, not good. But the pocket screws drive everything nice and straight. Some wood glue just for good measure here. And more pocket screws. Pulls everything tight and 90 degrees and flush. It's perfect. I slathered on some drywall putty just to smooth everything out in preparation for painting. I used some edge banding. I didn't have an edge banding 
cutting tool, so I just used a razor blade. It got the job done. This paint looks blue, but it dries black. And then I just gave everything a good coat of paint. Now I turn my attention to the upper shelf and the pieces that will lock the table height. Did you know I host a Facebook group called American Woodworkers? Find it on Facebook, join. We would love to have you in there. It's an awesome community. I drill holes for the dowel rod and the dowel pin. Here I'm drilling a hole for the dowel pin and I glue this in at a later stage. And the dry fit works good. Here I'm permanently attaching the casters. Whee! I love these things, they work so well. And now I'm attaching the stop mechanism. This odd shape will support the metal tubing on the top shelf. So the scroll saw makes quick work of this task. I paint it quickly, use two-part epoxy to put it where it needs to go, and then I throw a few brad nails in it just for good measure. Now, I don't want this shelf to be permanently attached to the tabletop, so this is my solution. This is the bottom of the shelf assembly, and I put dowel pins on it. I also drill holes for those dowel pins on the tabletop surface. I permanently glue the dowel pins to the tabletop assembly, the shelf assembly. And that way, it's fixed to the table. It won't slide off the table, but yet I can remove it. Here I measure for the metal rods and use a sawzall with a metal cutting blade right through it. So easy, I love that tool. And do a quick test fit. Works good. Now, this is something odd. I'm taking two-part epoxy and only covering one side of this tubing, the whole length of it. That black strip is a piece of felt. This is the same felt that goes on speaker cabinets like you would see on stage. After it dries, I slice it off so it's only on that one side. That way the keyboard won't touch metal it'll be cradled with the felt. Here I'm permanently attaching the metal tubing and this dried so stiff. I was going to reinforce it so it wouldn't rack left and right. It is solid as a rock. The whole shelf assembly does not move left or right at all and I love it already. Oh, it is so awesome. I kept these parts unpainted because I wanted to see that it was still plywood. You could hardly tell it was plywood. Everything fits perfectly. I won the monkey playing whack-a-mole. I am the undisputed whack-a-mole champion of the world. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it.